Tiny and Small Clanger have gone to the soup wells to collect some soup for dinner. Oh no! What's happening? The soup wells are shaking! Tiny thinks the soup wells may be about to explode, like a volcano! Tiny is explaining that if it is indeed a volcano, the wells must be about to erupt. Imagine the mess! Small thinks they should try to plug the wells to stop it from erupting. Yes indeed, Tiny Clanger. They should get the help of everyone. Major Clanger wants to know what all the fuss is about. Tiny explains that there is an awful lot of rumbling happening in the soup wells. They might be about to erupt. Baby Soup Dragon, the soup wells are about to erupt. Major is suggesting they try to plug the wells to stop them erupting. Oh dear, that didn't work. Maybe Mother Clanger has a better idea. didn't work either. What about you, Small? Small Clanger has taken a leaf from Mother Clanger's garden. Let's see if this works. What's that, Baby Soup Dragon? Is it not a volcano? What could it be then? <laughs> it seems as if the rumbling was actually Soup Dragon snoring. <laughs> What superb news! Soup Dragon is just having her afternoon nap. what Major Clanger is building. It's a telescope! What a terrific job! Major Clanger wants to let Tiny and Small Clanger have a look through his telescope. Small wants to go first. Let's see what he can find. That's the London Eye, a giant Ferris wheel. Hmm, I wonder what that is. It's the Iron Chicken. I think she's interested in the big shiny telescope. Hang on a second. Where did Small go? Looks like 
like someone took Major Clanger's tools. I wonder who would have done such a thing. Well, that will have to wait. We'll have to find Small first. Like someone took some of the iron chicken's metal. This is very peculiar. Who could it have been? I think Tiny may have a clue. A large sculpture. Small Clanger has built a replica of the large ferris wheel he saw through the telescope. And he used Major Clanger's tools and the iron chicken's metal to build it. He really should have asked first, but it's okay. This sculpture is magnificent. Just make sure you ask next time, Small Clanger. It's a cold day and all the Clangers are bundled up in their blankets. I think Small Clanger is hungry. Maybe there's some extra blue string pudding left over. No, Small's blanket is ripped. It doesn't even cover your feet. What will you do now, Small? Small Clanger is asking Granny Clanger to teach him how to knit. Granny would love to help. is showing Small how to knit. It looks a little bit confusing to Small. I don't think Small Clanger understands. Maybe Granny Clanger could help explain. That's it, Small Clanger. This is all unravelling rather well. Well done, Small Clanger. You're a knitting natural. What's that you have there, Small? You fixed the tear. All because Granny Clanger showed you how to knit. Small Clanger and Tiny Clanger are playing Clanger Ball on the planet's surface. Tiny is getting ready to throw the ball. That was a big hit. Can you find the ball, Tiny? What has Tiny spotted? Small thinks it looks like a tail. It's moving and wiggling all about. What could it be? I think Small is interested in investigating. Oh no! Where did it go? Small Clanger thinks it may be a new animal living on the little blue planet. How exciting! Tiny has a great idea. Maybe the animal likes soup. Tiny 
tiny and small have left out the soup. But where is the animal? Hmm, what now? Tiny has suggested music. Maybe the animal likes music. Tiny is playing a beautiful tune, but still, nothing is happening. That didn't work. Well, what now, Tiny and Small? There it is, Clangers! What is it, Clangers? What a strange animal! It's made up of wool and is very bouncy. I wonder what it is. It looks a little bit like a froglet. It's a froglet. It must have gotten tangled in some of Granny Clanger's wool. Well done, tiny and small. You helped rescue this poor froglet. Anyway, back to the game of Clanger Ball. Your turn to throw, small Clanger.